40 to 50 percent of teeth that have root canal treatments, in Europe at least, they still have a finding on the radiograph. So that's why it's very important for dentists all over the world to know how to decide and when to decide to go back again to the roots and do a retreatment. So first is decision making, when to do that, and then is the technical part, how to do it to avoid the atherogenics, to avoid doing harm to the patient. So because it's quite often seen on daily practice, I think it's an important topic for uh, general dentists all over the world, this topic. And I'm very happy and honored to be here in Budapest the second time. I was also last year at the Endodontic Congress, International Endodontic Congress at Dental World. And my topic of this year was about endodontic retreatment. I have a lecture about one hour talking about decision making and algorithm work in retreatment. I also have in the afternoon a hands-on where we will work for about four hours long, retreatment, endodontically retreatment, how to remove gutta percha, how to find extra canals, how to pass ledges. So I'm very happy and I think the participants will enjoy the time spending about talking and working endodontic treatments and retreatments in particular in my case. Unfortunately, in endodontics, a lot of root canal treated teeth have disease afterwards. So the statistical chance is quite high that the dentist might find an old root canal treatment with an apical finding, a lesion on the radiograph. So there is a tendency to immediately retreat, to go to, for another treatment of those cases. Because about 40 to 50% of teeth that have root canal treatments, in Europe at least, they still have a finding on the radiograph. So that's why it's very important for dentists all over the world to know how to decide and when to decide to go back again to the roots and do a retreatment. So first is decision making, when to do that, and then is the technical part, how to do it to avoid the atherogenics, to avoid doing harm to the patient. So because it's quite often seen on daily practice, I think it's an important topic for uh, general dentists all over the world, this topic. Dentistry, it's a very clinical work. People are passionate of what they're doing and they see their results of work on a daily basis. We sometimes tend to forget our medical part of the field, yes? Because we are also doctors, yeah? So we see patients with pain and we have to take our time and effort to understand pain mechanism and how pain can be treated not only mechanically with what we are doing, but also with medication that is necessary for painful conditions of the human people that are coming into our office. So I think it should be emphasized, and I emphasize in my lecture all the time, about the medication that people need to have to receive from dentists when they have painful episodes of acute periodontitis, epical abscess of irreversible pulpitis. So this is also a very important part of our field that we should not so easily forget. Not only clinical part, but also the medical part of the treatment. Uh, actually, I was very happy to see the faces of the people that were interacting with me during the lecture, giving some thoughts, smiling, and also taking pictures of my slides. So I really enjoyed the fact that they were entertained and they were into the lecture with me. It was like a together work that we did in this uh, lecture. So I hope I did my part, but also the audience did its part while interacting with, uh, with me. So congratulate them that for being here, but also for being active here. I had to congratulate the organizers because, at least for the Endodontic Congress, I saw all the lectures that are coming here. There are really talented people with good information. Also check the exhibition. Uh, you have a lot of companies that are exposing here, manufacturers, instruments, equipment. So I think it's very important for Hungary that you have this type of event every year, that people from our field can come and get knowledge, but also instruments and equipment to have in the office, to work with it, and to apply the knowledge that they get during this type of courses.